Are you trying to import to Premiere Pro and then getting this error saying the importer reported a generic error? The first thing is to make sure that your format and codec is supported. And if you visit Adobe's website, you can find this page here called supported file formats where they have included every supported format. I will leave a link to this page in the description of the video. So if you're not sure what format and codec your file is, I will show you how to check this next. To check what format your file has, simply right click it, click on properties, and then we can see that our file has a MKV container, and this is our format. And if we now go ahead and search for it here, press Ctrl F and search for MKV, we can see that we're getting no results, meaning that MKV is not included in the list of the supported file formats. A quick fix you could try is to click on view, show file name extensions, then right click the file, click on show more options, rename, and then change the MKV to MTS, hit enter, and click on yes. Since if we go ahead and search for MTS here, we can see that it's one of the supported formats. So try importing your file like this. If not, you will have to transcode the file. But first, I will show you how to check the codec as well. To check the codec, you can download a free software called VLC Media Player. I will leave a link to this one in the description. So I'm going to right click the file, click on open with VLC Media Player, then go to tools and codec information. Here we can see that our codec is an H264. And if we search for H period 264, we can see that the codec is supported. However, our format was not, so we will still have to change the file. To transcode your file, I recommend downloading Shutter Encoder, which is free and very good. I will leave a link to their website in the description. To transcode the file, I'm going to drag and drop the file on top of the Shutter Encoder. Then under choose function, I'm going to select one of the editing codecs. Choosing one of these codecs will ensure that you don't lose any quality before starting to edit. And for a normal HD clip, you can choose the DNX HD. And for 4K, you can choose the DNX HR. Keep in mind that these files will probably be a bit bigger than your original files. So if you're running low on space, consider choosing something like H.264, but you will lose a bit of quality. So I'm going with the DNX HD and then I'm clicking on start function to transcode. Once it's finished, you will find the file in the same folder as the original clip by default. And if we now try to import it, we can see we have successfully solved the error. I've written an article about this error, so if you want to try some of the easier solutions before trying to transcode, you can check it out and I will leave a link to this one in the description as well. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and thanks for watching.